So, Swain, each Friday we look ahead to the weekend's game and we hand out keys to the game for Tennessee to get a victory. Keys for Tennessee to beat Georgia and get to 9-0. Would you like to lead us off with your list? For sure. Number one is about the battle outside the numbers. And it doesn't mean offense or just defense. It's actually both. The battle outside the numbers. Tennessee offensively, Jalen Hyatt has been on a tear uh, there in the middle of the football field. Yes, he's called some passes outside the numbers, but he has started in the middle of the football field in the slot position. It's about Brew McCoy. It's about Cedric Tillman winning battles on the outside for Tennessee wide receivers. On the defensive side, it's about winning battles on the outside as well. Brock Bowers is going to get his. He's a phenomenal football player, one of the best players in the country, the best tight end in the country. Darnell Washington is a physical freak and a matchup nightmare. Those guys are going to get there. What what you can't allow to happen when you are in this high-scoring game atmosphere, which I think it will be and what Tennessee wants it to be, is you can't let Lad McConkley get going. You can't get, let these other guys on the outside of the numbers to have career days. You might try to force them to have to be counted on, but you can't allow them to make plays. This is where you need the Nico Slaughter. You need players on the outside, DBs, making plays on the football. No drop interceptions. You have opportunity, you got to come down with it. Stetson Bennett has proven that he'll throw it to you. you got to make the play. He's been really good at times. He's been really okay at times. Force him to be okay, and when he is okay, pick the ball off. So winning the battle outside the numbers, I think, is important. Number two, success versus the Georgia Bulldog running game. That's where it all starts. They want to run the football, and they don't care about a three-yard game, a four-yard game. Of course you want to get those big chunks, and Tennessee has not allowed – much of that of all, uh, being one of the top teams in the SEC at limiting 20-yard or more runs. But they don't care about three-yard and four-yard games. Why? Because linebackers are going to come up to the party the same way. And the moment they come up, they're going to want to throw the ball over your head or behind your head to to the tight ends. Stop the run. Make them one-dimensional. And, again, make them have to throw the ball outside the numbers to some of those guys who are not comfortable making big plays in games like this. And number three. My man, Hendon Hooker, inked himself a car deal. He just inked himself a deal with French's mustard. This French's deal is terrific. Got some got some kicks, so much drip got going on there for Hendon. Triple H, and I ain't talking about the wrestler. Heisman Hendon Hooker has to be, I think, great, like he has been all season long. When you look at Hendon's numbers in big games this year, he has stepped up. He has shown out. Kentucky, Alabama, LSU, Florida, doesn't matter. Florida game, he had a little under 350 yards. Look at what he did against Alabama, 385. Was great against LSU, 239. Kentucky, 245. I kind of joked with him after the game. I was like, a little low. He joked back, yeah, a little low. But it's, it's just fine because he didn't throw an interception. And he had three touchdowns. It's about Hendon Hooker bringing home the Heisman this weekend. He balls out. His team wins. I'm going to lock it down. My three keys for Tennessee to beat Georgia. This number you can give or take a little bit, but run for – 150 yards against Georgia. The reason I say that number, credit to VolQuest with Tennessee's record being 15-2. and two. That's a lot of games, by the way, so far under Josh Heupel, running for 150 yards and winning. It doesn't guarantee you, but Swain, if they run for 150-plus against this Georgia defense, my guess is that your third key will show up as well, that Hinton yeah. Hooker will be able to do some damage if Tennessee's able to run. And at this point, I think people realize, but it still doesn't get the attention it deserves, the importance of the running game and the emphasis on the running game in Josh Heupel's offense. The Joe Rexroad piece talked about Alex Golish and what he's been able to bring from a running aspect to what Josh Heupel has been able to do. Uh, They run the football very importantly in this offense. If they can run against Georgia, it will open up even more for Hooker, Jalen Hyatt, Cedric Tillman, Brew McCoy, and everybody else 
in that passing game. So, number one, run for 150 yards, run effectively against the Bulldogs. Number two, beat Georgia's secondary, which has talent but actually is a question mark, believe it or not, going into the game. I'm not going to go as far as one coach who told ESPN that Georgia's back end is below average. I'd say compared to the rest of the country, below average seems like too low of a ranking when Keely Ringo could be a first-round pick potentially in the NFL. But can he run with these guys? Let's see. You know, Let's see what they're doing matched up. Uh, Smith there at safety is a, a talented player, but if you can continue to take shots and running the football well could open up those opportunities, you take enough shots, they're going to hit especially if Tennessee gets going and this offense is running quickly. So beat Georgia's secondary. Jalen Hyatt beat him deep. Cedric Tillman, you can beat him all over. He went for 200 yards against them last year. I think Tennessee can find some matchup advantages against Georgia's secondary. And then number three, it's a game that I do think will be close. It could be high scoring. It could get wild in the middle of the game. Well, special teams could swing it one way or the other. Mm-hmm. This series has enough history where you know that can be the case. So eliminating mistakes on the road, if you get a punt blocked or you give up a big return in front of that Georgia crowd and the Bulldogs get momentum and all of a sudden they have field position swinging their way, then I would say good luck even to Tennessee with its offense. On the flip side, if Tennessee can make plays in special teams when there is still a talent disparity and they are the favorite at home, well, that can swing it back your way. So special teams, making kicks. We've had some field goal conversations on Tennessee's side this week. You need to hit those kicks. If it's going to be a close game, if it's a 38-35, 42-38 type game, well, three points can mean the difference in what a team needs to do late. So my three keys, run for 150-plus yards, beat Georgia secondary with some matchup advantages Tennessee might be able to create, and play well on special teams. Three keys from Jason Swain. Win the battle outside the numbers. Find success against the Bulldogs run game. And number three, bring it home. Triple H. Triple H. I ain't talking about the wrestler. Heisman, Hendon, Hooker on Saturday.